Hey guys, today I'll show you how you can use our new package Burning Transitions in After Effects and Premiere Pro. Let's jump into After Effects. You need to have two different layers before you apply the transition. I'll show you how you can apply it with only one layer later. You don't need to select anything, just uh, hit apply. You can select if you want uh, some specific layers to be involved, but if you have only two, that's fine. The script uh, applied everything automatically and as you see, you got the final result. Let's uh, take a look if you have only one layer. Let's say this one. The script will ask you if you want to split it. So we want to place the time indicator where you want the transition to happen. And here is the prompt, just say yes. And it will do uh, all adjustments automatically as well. Next, if you don't have any layers, it will just uh, import uh, the transition as is. You can adjust it manually, uh, place some placeholders and adjust the timing. Uh, but it will uh, show you the prompt uh, right here, saying that uh, it needs two layers uh, if you want it to be done for you. That's how it works. And uh, there are also a few controls. If you press edit, you'll see the hue controls and uh, it can adjust the flames, like the color of the flames, uh, this one. You can turn it green, you can make it blue and so on. Let's uh, jump to Premiere Pro. So I have this uh, two videos right here and uh, you need to select those uh, two track items before you apply. Open the plugin. And in, in, Prem, in Premiere Pro, there are uh, two more extra steps in order to apply, uh, just because we don't have uh, tools on the backend to do it automatically for you. And I ask Adobe, if, if you listen, uh, make, uh, make them available for us to automatically add sequences to placeholders in Mobert. Uh, you need to open this essential graphics step you can find it on the window, Essential Graphics, and you'll find the Ages folder. So we created two sequences with your videos and you need to drag and drop first to the first one and second to the second one. That's it. Now the transition is applied and while it's loading, the only downside is you cannot move it because uh, you need to reapply it again because we cut pieces of your uh, video, like the first and the second one. So it perfectly interacts uh, with transition. The reason we need to do that is uh, it's applied as alpha made and there are a bunch of uh, adjustments uh, so it looks right. And as you can see, the blue color of the fire picked up from After Effects, uh, those programs work uh, together. If you change color in Premiere Pro, it will be automatically applied by a plugin in After Effects. I think that's it. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions uh, about this package and I hope you guys enjoy. See you in the next one.